I'm Linda Hensman, a member of Central United Methodist Church in Evansville, Indiana, and I've been involved with CAGE, Congregations Acting for Justice and Empowerment, for about 14 years, serving in many capacities, including co-chair and research team member. CAGE was founded in the Evansville area about 16 years ago. For every one of those years, CAGE has listened to the urgent problems of our neighbors, researched those problems, defined local solutions, and used people power at a large gathering, our Nehemiah Action, where local officials answer our call for justice in front of 1,000 people. This year will be different, but before I share our plans, let me speak to those of you who might not know about Cage's work. Have you ever heard the story of a boy walking on a beach and seeing hundreds of starfish washed up on the beach and dying? Well, the story says that the charitable child throws one of the starfish back in the ocean, only to be chastised by an adult who says that is silly and that he can't make a difference because he can't save them all. So why bother with the one? You know it, right? The boy says, well, it sure made a difference to the one I threw back. But did you ever wonder what caused those starfish to wash up on the beach? Maybe looking for the cause could make a difference to more than just the one. Maybe it could make a difference to all the dying starfish. And that is the idea of Cage's justice work. I've witnessed the positive differences that Cage can make to hundreds of people, not just the few who might be touched by charity. Cage's justice work digs for practical local solutions to find out what can save people from dying from opioid overdoses and to find out why people struggle to find affordable, decent housing and to find out why children with autism and a coexisting mental condition cannot find local care and to find out what can be done about Evansville's unsafe neighborhoods. When I was part of the Narcan research team, we asked the Warwick County Sheriff to equip his deputies with Narcan, the opioid overdose antidote. The sheriff at the time was Brett Cruz, who agreed, saying he had not thought about using Narcan until Cage made him aware. About a month after his deputies were equipped, a life was saved in Newburgh with Narcan. Just weeks after Evansville Police Chief Bolin agreed to Cage's request and started a Narcan pilot program, an off-duty Evansville police officer saved a young man's life with Narcan. That young man has gone on to be a productive member of our community and a father. Now, more lives than we can count are given another chance by Evansville, Cozy, Vandenberg and Warwick first responders, thanks to CAGES, research and persistence. This coronavirus pandemic will magnify our neighbors' problems of homelessness, unsafe neighborhoods, and the lack of mental health care. CAGE cannot stay isolated. We must take action and find creative ways to use our people power to bring about positive systemic changes and make a difference to many, not just a few. So this year we will take action by hosting a virtual rally on Monday, May 11th at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook. Please like Cage and get tickets on Facebook and watch. The recording of the rally will also be available on YouTube the following day, May 12th. I invite everyone, my family and my friends, to tune in to view the testimonies of those desperately in need of justice and to be inspired by the words of Cage clergy and our leaders. Thank you.